at the shape of a building and how it actually influences the project. So this is just for background and this is very useful whenever you do your task one. So we've got uh, two um, shapes that we're going to look at. So uh, the first one is a square shape of 40 by 40 um, meters and we could calculate okay that um, the total square meter area is 1600 squares um, the wall length is 160 meters the wall height is 3 meters the wall air uh, wall areas thus 480 squares and then you've got your floor ratio of uh, 480 squares over 1600 squares um, and you could calculate that the cost of the external facade on in terms of the rand per square meter of the floor area um, based on this so it works out at roughly 30 percent of your cost so looking at the second uh, scenario you've got your um, 100 by 100 by 16 meters which is the same area uh, if you calculate it so your area is the same your wall length, length is now 232 uh, meters your height still stays the same and then your wall area now goes up to 696 squares if you divide that by um, your floor area you get to a cost of uh, rand per uh, square meter the ratio of 43.5 five percent so you can see the ratio is higher but let's look at it in a practical way if you look at look at it in practical terms the rate per square meter on plan of a facade costing 800 rand on elevation uh, if you calculate that will work out as follows so you've got 800 rand um, per square meter times 30 percent for your cost ratio so it works out 240 rand per square meter for your ex um, just for your external envelope or your walls uh, per square meter this now excludes now any installation like tiling or so because your tiling will be the same it doesn't really change and the rate and the area won't influence it too much but then um, looking at case b where your uh, ratio is 43.5 percent it will work out 348 rand per square meter so you can see how the shape immediately had an influence on the cost of of your external facade it doesn't necessarily um, have an influence on the rest obviously the more windows you put on the the um, the higher the cost and it, um, the square um, building one and the rectangular one might have the same amount of windows or openings um, which will not necessarily have an influence on the cost so just be mindful of that and so to re um, okay then there's a, some explanation in the AECOM um, book if you go through it uh, why uh, if you really look at it a, a round shape uh, building will have a, um, a better ratio cost ratio of a um, rectangular or a square building but if you go and look at the, um, the technicality of it, um, to build a round um, wall um, has more technicality to it, which raises the, the cost again. So this is the experience that, that we're talking about whenever a cost estimate estimator looks at a design. Uh, what, what right should he use for the external envelope? So this is the items that he usually looks at. Is it uh, what type of brick is used? Is it a very expensive brick? Is it going to be plastered? Is it round? Is it, is it a funny shape? Is it uh, something unconventional? Uh, will the contractor actually be able to do that? So those are the things that you consider whenever you build up your rates uh, and uh, whenever you do your cost estimation. Then um, the other thing that we just, uh, I'm just going to highlight a few things that you can also look at. Your floor to ceiling height also has an influence um, or your square meter rate um, might not always be relevant to a new building because some buildings may have a double volume type of installation. Your floor to ceiling height might be lower or higher, which will influence the cost, etc., etc. So it's just a discussion on that. 
and then your plumbing and mechanical electrical installations will have a big influence uh, on your rate per square meter so um, you need to to have a look at that and I think I've touched on it whereas a toilet block installation will have a lot more technical plumbing install um, installed which will um, take the rate per square meter up so for instance when you do your task and you um, do your rate um, calculation you need to consider uh, your historical building that you're basing your square meter rate on how many uh, bathrooms did that building have and how much does your new one have will that influence the cost if you um, looking at two fr uh, three bedroom houses but the one has en suites for the one and the other one only has one bathroom obviously that will have an influence on the cost then similarly the commercial and industrial developments uh, there's a big difference between developing a nuclear plant in comparison to a normal uh, house that you're building and the, the cost that's that's the two extremes almost if you want to call it that um, so obviously industrial development will um, might be if, if, if you've got big storerooms it might be cheaper but if you need to refrigerate that stores or do put in air conditioning for that volume it may take up the, um, the cost quite a bit so those are the things that you need to look at then your construction areas the rate per square meter of a building with large balconies access corridors including the construction area cannot be compared with a rate per square meter of a building without similar installation so you just need to um, remember that internal divisions uh, subdivisions uh, your internal walls if you've got an open office uh, development you can't compare that right with a new development with a lot of individual offices um, built into it obviously you have more brickwork you more have more paintwork um, more acorns that you have to put in less centralized uh, installations etc so those are the other things that you need to look at but the right per square meter on plan of a facade costing 800 square meters on elevation each cost is okay so this is just a slide that i have to delete okay then we get to our next section um, parking and then considerations of that so this is something that you need to look at as well we've uh, we've got two scenarios we've got one building uh, with a basement and then we've got another building with external parking so uh, the one uh, the floor areas is exactly the same for uh, your offices so your offices is uh, 600 square meters and then for this building it's exactly the same but your parking is now outside same area of parking um, that you use so you've got 200 and uh, 2400 squares of building and you've got uh, 3000 square meters worth of building now I'm going to get into the detail just now so then we look at two parameters so for um, scenario one or case one you've got 200 and uh, 2400 square meters times a rate of 15,000 rand per square meter so it's 36 million for for this office building your basement parking um, is less because it doesn't have specialist installations um, and it works out at approximately 6,000 um, rand per square meter and then you add up your cost uh, to get to 39.6 uh, million so your rate per square meter works out at 13,200 um, rand per square meter for case one now look if we look at case b we've got the same amount of office space space at the same rate so it's still 36,000 uh, 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 36 uh, million that it works out on and then you've got your parking which is now external but it's external so it um, only works out at 800 rand per square meter and you get to um, 36 point of uh, let's say 5 million 
okay so that's more or less what it works out at but remember now your rate per square meter is now divided by 2400 uh, square meters and not the total 3000 square meters so your rate per square meter works out higher because you're working with your buildings um, square meter rate and not your parking okay so the, these are the things that you need to, to look out at, uh, look out for when doing your estimation and that's why your external works in this case in case B your external works is your parking is always um, calculated separately from your actual building cost uh, so because it influences your building cost quite a bit so those are very important concepts when considering it for your assignment um, and whenever you do do any calculations for estimate thanks everyone that's um, lecture free and um, yeah i'll see you guys on monday